What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be discussing some WWE figures that are coming this year in 2020, maybe early 2021, but I'm pretty sure we're going to get them in the year of 2020. But today, guys, we're going to be discussing the issues or the problems that are coming up with these figures, you know, specific details, things that they're missing, things that they should probably change about the figures that, in my personal opinion, they could be a little bit better if they were to tweak them, and things that are missing off the figures or something like that. So if we dive straight into it, guys, we need to start off with the brand new Top Picks 2020 line. If you guys know what this line is, it's obviously the Top Picks line. You guys go to Walmart, you go to Target. These figures are most likely on the shelves. I think the first series ever was Rollins, Balor, AJ Styles, and Braun Strowman. And then uh, it's pretty much continued that same pattern until this year. We did get a change in the lineup. It is now Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns, Ricochet, and Braun Strowman. So that's pretty cool. But the thing about this series is, is that that every figure in this series has an issue or something with it that has been reissued or something like that. So let's go ahead and dive in, guys. Let's start off with Seth freaking Rollins, the X-Men Wolverine gear, which uh, I love. I love this gear. I never made a custom of it, so I'm really happy to get this figure in my collection. However, you guys know, we've talked about it here on the channel a little bit beforehand, that the X is missing from the vest. They left the X off of the X-Men Seth Rollins vest. Very, uh, you know, big deal here. You know, it's a big prominent feature on the attire to leave off the X, so this is kind of upsetting. However, you do know they would probably face some sort of lawsuit or some sort of copyright issue if they were to put the X on the vest, so I understand it. You know, Marvel and Disney are going to come after that ass if something like that were to go down and they don't want to risk it, or, you know, they just, uh, yeah, I, I don't know if they would get in trouble for it or not. You know, it's just an X. I don't know if Disney and Marvel can copyright the letter X especially, but it's I think it's the likeness is, is the biggest issue. You know, Seth Rollins wasn't profiting off of that X when he wore it to the ring, so that's why there's no issue there. He can wear it as long as he wants. He just can't profit off of the likeness or the imagery of Marvel, X-Men, you know, etc. So, that is the big deal with this figure. I still like the figure a whole lot. It just is missing the X on the vest, which is a big deal. Let's move on to the next figure in the series, guys. Let's get into Braun Strowman, and this figure is actually the best Braun Strowman they've released to date. However, this is a reissued head scan. Now, this isn't a huge deal. You know, it's not a huge thing, but I would have preferred to see a a different head sculpt. This is pretty much the exact same head sculpt that we have seen in Top Talent's past figures. I think we saw this with the Elite 58 Strowman, and then we saw it in another top pick Strowman. I feel like every Braun Strowman's pretty similar, so this one's a little bit different with the shirtless mold. Way better than his previous figures. I love the Timberland-style boots. Even though they're not shorter, they're still, you know, tan boots, which I am going to probably try and tweak it. I'm going to try and put those boots on different figures and see if we can get a really cool attire out of it, so I'm really excited about that. But Braun Strowman is a reissued head sculpt, so I did want to plug it in the video. And if we're talking about reissues, guys, let's take a look at the Top Talents Elite Roman Reigns for 2020. This figure is an exact copy of Elite Series 68 Roman Reigns. If you guys remember that, that was the SummerSlam wave. This is the exact attire, the exact head sculpt, the exact figure, accessories. Everything about this figure is the Elite 68 Roman Reigns. And I will give you a nod here, a little uh, nod of the cap to Mattel right here for packaging it this way to make it look like a different figure. Let's go ahead and pull them up side by side. You guys will see that the Elite 68 Roman was packaged a little bit differently. So it does look like it is a different figure. You know, it's not the exact same figure in the box there. Um, not like Braun Strowman. I'm pretty sure the Braun Strowman they released back, uh, it was it last year or a, a year or two ago, the Elite 68 Braun Strowman was the exact same figure as his Top Talents figure with the same accessories and everything. So it is a little bit different as far as in packaging goes. <coughs> so that is something to take note of right there. But Roman Reigns is a complete reissue, which, you know, it is what it is. That is a great figure. I'm not going to hype on the figure, but it is a re-release, so we got to call it what it is. And if we go to the last figure in the set, which is probably, I don't know which one is better, either Seth Rollins or Ricochet. I would probably say Rollins, but Ricochet is pretty nice as well. It's just, you guys already know what I'm going to talk about. It is the exact same figure, except recolored, obviously, in a different attire. We have seen two different Ricochets to this point. This will be our third Elite Ricochet, which I'm all on board for because I love Ricochet and I love his figures, but uh, it does look like he is still going to be too tall, which I don't think they're going to fix that at this juncture. You guys know that the lower leg problem with Ricochet uh, can only be 
be fixed with like Sin Cara legs or Kalisto legs and uh, or lower legs I should say. It's going to be like the AJ Styles, you know, they, they probably should have fixed the torso to begin with. They didn't and now uh, it's just going to be something that if you want to fix it, you got to go out of your way to fix and I don't know if there's a figure with silver legs like this to match this ricochet to switch that out, but that is an issue in itself and not only is he, you know, he's going to be too tall for ricochet, they also did not give him knee pads which is has been an ongoing issue with ricochet figures, his elite figures, so the only way you can get knee pads is to either get silver ones, I think they make silver open ones for Neville, Elite, what was it, uh, Elite 42 Neville, no, maybe it was Elite 42 Neville, I think, um, regardless, there's some open silver knee pads out there, you can find them, then you're just gonna have to rely on Curb Stomp City custom decals to give you, uh, the decals for those knee pads, but other than that, the top picks line, I still like, I still like all the figures in the set, the only one I probably wouldn't grab is Roman, but it's still a really good figure, uh, the rest of the figures are new enough to get, they are just having their own issues and missing stuff and stuff like that, but let's move on to another figure, guys, let's go ahead and get into the Seth Rollins basic, now, really nothing's wrong about this figure, I just wanted to plug it into the video to just talk about how plain it is, you just got the plain black attire with the rib wrap, and I actually had a lot of you guys tell me that you're going to grab this figure simply for the rib wrap, so I guess they're doing what they want to do here with this figure, it, it, you know, I guess including in accessories with basic figures is something that they should continue, because you guys said that you're going to buy this figure up, so I, I nod the cap there, another nod to the cap right there for good business for the Rollins figure, but I wanted to plug that in there just to, you know, talk about it a little bit, but let's move on to the next ringside exclusive that has a little bit of controversy surrounding it, guys. We have the ringside exclusive Edge figure, and this one is the three-in-one Edge heads with the Kurt Hawkins and Zack Ryder head sculpts. Now, I have been uh, researching and finding out that uh, apparently this figure is still set to release. They haven't run into any issues. Apparently, they can still release this figure, I guess, because Kurt Hawkins and Zack Ryder, their names are still under contract, like, to be made, and I don't think it's going to be any issues at this moment. So uh, I don't really know the all de you know all the details of this, but apparently this figure is still going to be made. And the only issue I have with this figure is that the head sculpt of Edge is not brand new. It is a uh, you know it's a re-release. It's just a true effects version of a figure head sculpt that we have seen. This is actually the Elite One, the Elite One head sculpt from Edge is true effects right here and put on this figure so I would have appreciated to seen a new edge head sculpt but I guess since we got two brand new sculpts with uh, with Kurt Hawkins and Zack Ryder I guess that's maybe where the budget didn't allow for a new edge head sculpt but it is a ringside exclusive I like the attire and everything kind of a point of attire but you know it is what it is I'm still hyped for this figure I think it's going to be badassery I hope this figure releases I hope we do get to see it come to fruition but this is a re-release head sculpt and that's like 78 76 series right there, all the way back, throwing it back to Elite Series 1 with that Edge head sculpt, but nonetheless, I still like the figure, it's just kind of crazy, I would have liked to seen a new sculpt for it, but let's move on to the next figure, guys, another re-release head sculpt is the 2-pack with China and Triple H, now this Triple H figure, its head sculpt is the exact same as his Elite 23 Triple H head sculpt, except again, it does have true effects applied to it, which does make it better, I will say that in every case, any true effects head sculpt, usually, it looks a lot better than the regular sculpted version, where it's not as cartoony as it once was, so that is nice to see, but I did want to plug it in there because it is another reissued head sculpt there, and I do want to move on to the next figure, guys. We got about five figures left here that I want to get into. Let's run into Kofi Kingston. Now, I don't think this is going to be an issue, but I did want to point it out in the video just in case in the future this does happen. So you guys know that Kofi Kingston figures never come with knee pads. Now, I don't think this figure won't come with knee pads, but uh, none of his figures have ever come with knee pads, I'm pretty sure, except for the ones where he was wearing biker trunks or the shorter trunks so that leads me to believe that we will be getting knee pads on this but the render image does have him not in knee pads and uh, given that his last few at least the last like six or so maybe even seven have had no knee pads so I guess maybe just the render has no knee pads which is fine this figure looks bomb as shit I can't wait for the decades of dominance Kofi Kingston Elite looks great and I did want to plug it in here just in case but I do think we will get knee pads I just wanted to point it out here but let's go ahead and move on to our next figure guys this John Cena the decade of dominance John Cena figure. Now this one's a little bit unique. It's not necessarily an issue. I just think that they probably should have went with black pants because he actually, uh, one of his first appearances on television in the uh, Doctor of Thugonomics gimmick was uh, in this hat, this little bucket hat. And uh, he wore a white t-shirt, a plain white t-shirt with his lock. And then he had black shorts with these kind of shoes and black wristbands. So honestly, if you took your Defining Moments t-shirt from your John Cena or another white plain shirt from some other figure, I just think that's the first one that comes to mind is the Defining Moments uh, draft lottery Cena. Take your white 
uh, t-shirt and then put it onto the first defining moments figure with the black and then uh, put this bucket hat and these arms and these shoes on that hoe and it will be a uh, it will be that exact figure that I think this one probably should have been but I like that we're getting the jersey it is rubber and everything but uh, I did want to just put that out in this video and let you guys know about that that um, you know they obviously can't put any details on it from the Celtics obviously it's supposed to be a Celtics jersey they can't put the details on it which I'm not I'm not saying this is like a problem with it or anything I'm just addressing the figure and what I would probably have done differently about it but there is John Cena and I do want to move on to Matt Riddle now Matt Riddle is very interesting and one thing I wanted to do is pull up this Randy Orton and I actually wanted to see this comparison right here because if you guys know the Randy Orton torso is the torso that I would want for my Matt Riddle and on here here on the render, it looks like this is going to be the Macho Man torso, but if you look at the Randy Orton render, we already know what's, you know, the Dolph Ziggler, the Randy Orton, the Seth Rollins style torso is the torso that Randy Orton always has, and it is the exact same mold as this Matt Riddle, so I think that Matt Riddle is going to have the right torso in my own opinion. Um, one thing I do want to say about the Matt Riddle, though, the torso does look like it's going to be the one that I wanted it to be, which I think fits perfectly, and uh, it does look like they're going to give him the Dolph Ziggler, like, elite elite mold. Whatever the Dolph Ziggler elite mold is, that is exactly what it looks like they're going to be giving him, except his lower legs. It does look like he's going to have the Kerry Von Eric lower legs, which I thought kind of had cankles looking. They were kind of weird looking, so not really feeling that. Also, the thighs are super jacked, so hopefully uh, they fix that. If they do it correctly, the Elite 24 Dolph Ziggler is pretty much what it looks like it's going to be modeled after, and every Ziggler has been modeled after that, so this actually is going to be a really good figure, man. I can already see it. The only thing I have an issue with is just the the render images, it looks like he, he is going to have the jacked arms that Cody Rhodes used to have. He's going to have the jacked arms that Ziggler always has. He's going to have uh, the jacked, uh, yeah, just the jacked arms is probably the biggest thing. I doubt they're going to give him that really jacked leg mold. Hopefully that's not the case, but he is going to be on ball joints most likely, and he is going to have, um, unless they do some new tooling and new molds for the legs, for the lower legs, for, you know, that UFC style or the barefoot mold, um, he is going to have a Kerry Von Eric look, and it is going to be a little bit thick for my liking so I don't know about that I guess we're just gonna have to find out about you know elite Matt Riddle and stuff like that but I am happy to report that it does look like it's gonna be the Dolph Ziggler mold pretty much and then the torso is gonna be completely perfect for that Randy Orton and another thing about that Randy Orton is I feel like the head sculpt is a little bit odd so I just wanted to point that out to you guys but let's move on to the last figure I want to discuss here today guys it is going to be the Fiend Bray Wyatt now you can't really tell from this image but uh, a lot of people were talking about his arms and his arms are a little bit skinny in my personal opinion you know, it's not a big, big deal um, to me. I don't think it's a huge deal. Um, you could actually do a lot of things to uh, fix it if you wanted to. It is going to require a little bit and some decals and stuff. But if you really, really wanted to fix it, you actually could without any like huge issues. But uh, it would require a little bit of work to fix that. But to me, it's not a big deal. But it is, you know, worth noting in the video to point out and you know show to you guys if you guys were wondering about that. But. I think that is it for any, you know, problems or issues coming forward with any figures coming soon. You know, not all these are huge glaring issues. A lot of people don't really have a problem with reissued stuff and stuff like that. I really don't mind it sometimes if it calls for it. And I completely understand you want to get Roman Reigns on the shelf. And I completely understand a lot of these things, uh, you know, budget cuts and things they can't do necessarily. But it is worth noting in the video if we're going to be calling out things, we might as well go ahead and note these things just in case you guys don't know about it. So let's go ahead and end the video there guys i think that's everything i have for you guys today i hope you guys did enjoy um i love talking about figures we're getting in the future you know hopefully all this stuff clears over very soon and we can get back to getting our figures in here i know we got a lot of delays going on so hopefully that passes over soon so i can get some reviews i feel like i haven't done a review in so freaking long and i'm ready to get back to it but anyways guys i'm getting the hell out of here thank you guys for watching subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram and twitter at my damn toys and i'll see you guys in the next video <laughs> thank you